Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meesh uh, once again with another video. This is the second part of our video series based on solving November 2022 university question paper for the subject risk management. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M5 students. Okay, now in our part one, we had already solved uh, one sum based on fair premium. Now let us check which were the other two sums which are pending in this particular question paper. Now, the very first question which was asked was following is the information of Bata Limited under the possible states of nature. Uh, they are giving you the state of nature that is the boom, low growth, stagnation, recession, probability and return on stock. Calculate the expected return and standard deviation. Two things have been asked in this sum. Very simple sum. Okay. Chalo, let us see how to start. First step. Now, always remember first step is we need to find the expected return. So the column that will require will be state of nature that is given, probability which is given and the returns which are given. We need one additional column called as P into R. That will be probability multiplied by the return. So 0 0.25 into 7 is 1.75, 0 0.25 into 10 is 2.5, 0 0.30 into 14 is 4.24, 0 0.2 into 19 is 38 we add up, we get the total value as 12.25. That is nothing but the expected return. So expected return R bar is equal to sigma P into R that came to 12.25%. So this is how you all had to solve or find uh, the expected return. Now in order to find standard deviation, we'll need few additional columns. We need the next column will be R minus R bar. That is all the values of R minus the R bar. So 7 minus 12.25, 10 minus 12.25, 14 minus 12.25 and 19 minus 12.25. The value come as negative 5.25, negative 2.25, 1.75 and 6.75. Once you get R minus R bar, the next column will be R minus R bar the whole square. So the square of these numbers, so 5.25 square is 27.25. 5625, 2.25 the square is 5.0625, 1.75 the square is 3.0625, 6.75 square is 45.5625. Once you get that, last column will be probability. Okay, probability multiplied by r minus r bar the whole square. So it will be like 0 0.25 into 27.5625. 0.25 into 5.06, 0.3 into 3.06, 0.2 into 45.5 odd. You multiply, you get your final value 6.89, 1.26, 0.92, 9.11. And we need to total it. This total is nothing but the variance. This is called variance. Okay. So standard deviation is nothing but the root of variance. So the root of 18.18 is nothing but 4.2. So this is how you all had to solve this particular sum which was based on expected return and standard deviation. Okay, now let us check what was the other sum which was asked. Okay, under question number 4, from the following information calculate the beta of a security. They are giving you return on security and return on market portfolio. So uh, return on security we will consider this as RS and market return we will consider that as RM. Okay, now first thing, let us see how to solve the columns. Okay, first we note down the years, return on security and return on market portfolio. So year, RS and RM. And the first thing that you need to do is to find the totals. So the total of uh, return on security came to 67 and return on market came to 74. Once you get that, we need to find the average. So RS bar and RM bar are the two things that you need to get. So RS bar is sigma RS upon N, N was 5 years. 67 upon 5 came to 13.4. Same way for RM bar, it will be sigma RM upon N, 74 upon 5, which came to 14.8. Once we get that, now we need to find some additional things in the columns. So the additional columns will be next RS minus RS bar. So all the returns 13 minus 13.4, 14 minus 13.4, 15 minus 13.4. 13 minus 13.4 and 12 minus 13.4. We get the value as negative 04, negative 06, 1.6, negative 04 and negative 1.4. Same way, the next column is RM minus RM bar. So 15 minus 14.8, 16 minus 
वैल्यू एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 0.72, 3.52, 0.32 and 3.92. And we need the total of that, which comes to 8.56. Last column, the RM minus RM bar ka the whole square. Okay, so 0.2 ka square is 0.04, 1.2 ka square is 1.44 and so on. So we get 0.04, 1.44, 4.84, 0.64 .4, and 7.84. We add up, we get the total value as 14.8. Once we get that, in order to find beta, we need two values. First, we need the value of covariance. Covariance is nothing but the sigma of the last, second last column. Okay, upon n minus one, that is five minus one, that is four. So 8.56 upon four is 2.14. So the second last column ka total upon n minus one is your covariance. Second, we need to find something called as standard deviation square m, which is the last column ka total upon n minus one. So 14.8 minus 5 upon 1 that is 4. So 14.8 upon 4 is 3.7. So your covariance now in order to find beta, your covariance becomes the numerator. The standard deviation square will become the denominator. So final answer beta is nothing but the covariance upon standard deviation square m. 2.14 divided by 3.7 our final answer is 0.58 okay so this is how you all had to solve the sum based on beta so these are the two remaining sums in the question paper one was based on expected return and standard deviation and the other one is based on beta or calculation of beta okay so i hope everyone have understood how to solve both these variations or both these types of sum so with that we will be ending this video here Thank you.